that you cannot refer to this as an alleged incident. It is a confirmed incident. If you refer to it as an alleged incident, what you're doing is you're giving space, you're providing space for those who want to deny this <coughs> having happened to do so. And we can't do that any longer. Uh, what I will tell you is, is that, and I'm sure that you know, um, that the response that we've gotten from Buffalo Wild Wings is that we have elected to terminate the two employees, the two managers. Um, and we've also decided to institute sensitivity training. It's important that you understand that we're not surprised that they fired the managers. That's what they should have done. We're not surprised that you're... We're not surprised that you are instituting sensitivity training. What we're surprised by is that you didn't have any already in place. Um, we are looking to try and make sure that we do everything we can to keep the lines of communication open with Buffalo Wild Wings because we are hoping, in fact, we are expecting that they will be good corporate citizens and that they will take this opportunity to do the right thing. They have an opportunity to be trailblazers right now where they can show other corporate community participants what it is to stand up to racism. We're calling on them to do it. We are calling on them to do it. Surprising pieces with it that we're going into you know, 2020 and, and we still have to deal with, uh, I would say it's systematic racism. Uh, that, that's probably the most surprising part about it. But, you know, like we said, it's real. It still happens. And that's why, that's the biggest piece with us sharing the story. Uh, you know, we didn't necessarily expect it to get what it is. Um, but people need to know that it happens. You know, we hear these stories. Uh, you hear about the Starbucks story. You hear about these other stories and you say, ah, it doesn't happen around here. This is proof that it does. And to talk a little bit more about your question with the Starbucks thing, that was a situation that it happened, you had video, but we have kids that it happened to. That's the important piece. I gotta explain to my 10 and five year old why we have to walk out of a restaurant. And that when, when they hang around with other people, because look at these, these beautiful kids, it's diverse. They go to school, now they have to think about who am I around? Who's judging me? We go to another restaurant. They have to talk about, they have to think about who am I sitting around? Do they want us here? And me as a, a, a man, to have to get up and walk out of a restaurant when I'm supposed to be a man, a tough man, and explain that to my wife and our friends and our kids to have to walk out of a place going into 2020. That is, is the toughest part. You of are a man. You are. I'll tell you this, and to be straightforward, uh, am I surprised? Was, was that like, when it, that was around the question that you were asking? Am I surprised? No, absolutely not. Uh, be honest with, with, with you guys, I've, I've experienced racism before. Right? I, I've, I've felt it, I've seen it. Um, just never in an establishment, right? So, surprise in Naperville? Absolutely not. Right? Absolutely not. Uh, surprise that it happened in an establishment? Maybe a little bit. But to be in Naperville 2019, do I think it'll change in 2020? Absolutely not. Uh, so, to answer your question, no, I'm not surprised. I'm 32 years old. This is my first time this ever happened to me in an establishment, right? It's happened outside, been called things, been treated, you know, different ways. The only outlet is calling the police, right? Hoping somebody stands around so you can build a case. That doesn't happen for black people, right? It don't happen, right? But to be in an establishment, right, as a man, as Justin said, right, with, with my children, with my team, with my group, you know, it's unacceptable. And, and as a man, as a coach, as a mentor, as a leader, 
It's a responsibility that, that I wear the hat to show them the right way, right? It's not about me. When John made that decision to tell us to move, it wasn't about me. That left with that question, right? It became about what I represent, right? As a culture, it came about being an African American. It came about being a mentor. It came about being a leader, right? It came about showing the right way, right? That's what it became about. And you did it. You did it.